We on, man. We on. You know the ruler had to be a minute or two late. You know what I'm talking about? Well, let's get this thing cracking. You know what I'm talking about? Let's go ahead and get all the the hosts and everything. Uh, you know, we got some uh we, we talking today, man. We talking. You understand me? Hey. So there's the host. What it do, what it do, what it do, what it is, what it was. What's up, what it boy? do, what it do, man. Okay, I see you back there with, with, with the with the base and wide screen. You uh, know? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What's up, bro? It's going down, uh, man. Come on, share the live, man. We need some yeah, double digits right. before we really start talking. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Uh, so, bro, Mark, let me see. Up, uh, who, you understand me? Let me get the other two uh, uh, guests on here with us. Hold on one second. What's well, cracking, everybody? We out here. Yes, yeah, sir. Right, man. Sorry, smoking. Yeah, right, smoking yeah. Right it's going there. down. It's going sure. down. What up? You know, it's, 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 uh, trying to pull up in the city, man. It's about to be lit. <laughs> about to be lit. Oh, yeah, we already double digits. So, hold on, hold on. Let's let's get it to a couple more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it to a couple more. What it do it all? What it do it all? You know what I'm talking about? We out here. We out here. Come on, man. What up? Marvelous. Good. Marvelous tattoos. If you're ever in Los Angeles on the east side, hit up my boy Marvelous in. Marvelous tattoos, man. So well. Me. Good evening. We out here, man. Shout out to Elegant Caviar. Shout out to my nigga Hugh Hef. He has a room with that. He's a lot of Shout out to Team Swagger. Swag. You already know. how at my nigga Kurt for the custom shit if you really from this here. Really shout out to that shit. We got a room. Shout out to my nigga King Cyro. You feel me? Yeah. Always keep the yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to P.O. Show. Yeah, we do the thing, man. Yeah, we do the thing. I just saw this. Hold on. I was just watching one of these shit. Yeah, I just saw y'all on here. I just saw the, the homies right here coming up. What did it do, though? What's up? Mm -hmm. Another hit, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That shit's bumping, though. We're going to start the live with this song. As soon as this song go off, we're going to get right to it. Let's do it. Hey, what it do to all everybody? Much love and respect. Yeah, everybody. Tell me what you do. Tell me what you Share the line. 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 There we go. It's all good. It's all good. As soon as the song fade out, we out of here. I am Ricky Antonio. What do you do? Little taps in the building. Ricky Antonio, man. You already know. 
There you go, guys. Yeah, hey, man. Let's get, get it started. Let's get it started, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. What's the word, man? So I want to introduce myself for those that don't know who this is. You understand me with all the Niner gang situations on? I go by the name of King Title. And I want to introduce my brother right here to the top right here. He's Palo Alto living legend by the name of B. Jada. You understand me? And rising superstar Mac motherfucking Toe. You understand me? Mac Toe. You understand me? Or Toe to Mac. You did it. Now the nigga that got money on the Niner Cowboys game. Also known as the nigga that got money on the Niner Cowboys game. So the nigga up top. Nigga, drop a honey though. Hey, drop some honey. Dude. For all my real niggas out here, drop a honey, man. You understand me? Finna get this thing in motion. You understand me? Like teenage lotion. You did what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and. uh. We got some collab hey. projects. We got a, we got some collab projects out right now, Poco. So you know what so I'm saying. So let's let's talk about it, my boy. So Bay Area Compass, what to do? Bay Area Compass, tap in. Let's get some. Let's get it rocking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, check everybody. Check your sound because I feel like the one of your guys is just playing back. Can you hear that? Or no? Are you guys good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I hear it. I, I hear it too, though. I, I hear a little like you know what I mean, like. Double, double, double shit. Yeah, one of, one, I don't know who it is, but we'll find out. Anyway. Okay. Hey, well, this is Fulcher Well, man. I'll be, I, I'll be, I'm going to turn. Hold up. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. I was going to say, I'm going to turn my shit down right now. No, I don't even think it's that though, but because I can hear myself go back. But it's all good. Okay. okay. Hey, so, uh. My name is Fulcher Wood, man. I've been hosting a lot of podcasts about independent artists. This is my boy, Saito. Thank you, everybody, for stopping in. We're going to talk about a project today. And so my boy, tell us about where we where we going. Shout out to my boy. Man, so uh, the first collab. What's up, Pocho? Pocho! You know what I'm saying? active in the building. So the first, the friend, first collab, the first collab I was, that I was able to release in 2021 was with this brother right here, B. Jada. You understand me? Like I said, leg living legend from the area. Me and him go back a couple decades at this point. And uh, you know what I'm saying? That, that's like that's like my real, like, you understand me? Not even like a rap homie. It's just like we became family. You know what I mean? And so, you know what I mean? You know, he never tells me no. When I need him, he's there for me. You know what I'm saying? And so I try to show the same love for him, too. And I felt like it was necessary and well overdue for us to do a collab project. And we called it One of Them Ones. But we abbreviated to the Udo. Yes, sir. And Jada mix and mastered the whole project, as well as the project that we're going to talk about right after. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Jada, won't you, won't you let us know how, how it was coming about the Udo? The, it, it, Udo stands for One of Them Ones. But we abbreviated to Udo, you know what I'm saying, as an acronym. So, Jada... Let them know how we did that, man. Yup, yup, yup. Man, man, Udo, man, uh, one of them was, we was trying to, um, uh, man, we was trying to figure out a name, you know what I mean? Because we, like, like my nigga said, we was, we was long overdue to do something. We've been, shit, man, me and, uh, me and Saito, shit, man, we, we got, we got songs going all the way back to what? Like, 04, like, 2004, you know, nigga kind of dating itself a little bit, but now, you know what I'm saying, we, we got, uh, <clears throat> we got class, we got classes, classes going all the way back till then, so, over the years, all the homies always been like, man, when y'all niggas gonna actually put a, you know what I mean, put together an official little project or something, so, you feel me, uh, we finally went on ahead and did that, you know what I'm saying, and came, came up with the, with the Udo, me and Saito, we got our own little kind of like little lingo, you know what I'm saying, to where, to where, you know what I'm saying, me and him could be in a room full of, full of niggas, bitches, whatever, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and only me and him know what we talking about. speak fully bonics, we didn't have people like, what the fuck is y'all saying, bro, you know what I'm saying, like, you know what I mean, and, you know, the way me and Jada, like, we connected, because we, 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 the, f the whole first year, me and Jada kicking it was smoking every morning. We didn't even yeah, talk yeah. about music. We smoked weed. We vibed, and that's how the music came out the way, you know what I mean? Oh, my mama. Oh, my mama. So, you know what I'm saying? So, that's how the that's how the title came up. That's how we came up with the title. One of them was just, uh, we just wanted a little, 
a little a little a little catchy, little clever, little different, little title. You know what I'm saying? So we came up with the Udo. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Quick little EP, seven songs. Produced by me and uh me and Saito, and then also we got a couple other tracks produced by my nigga Boots Green. So you feel me? Uh, man, that thing out though. That thing out right now, man. He did. For sure. you know what what right now, man. Anyway, find it on. Uh, we, we got uh, we, it, we actually did the video in Santa Rosa. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to SM Visuals. The song is called Yeah, uh, little third. Yeah, 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 Surge, man. You know what I'm saying? The song that we did is, uh, no, they not like us. No, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I mean? What, what's that? Selfish. Selfish. I could fuck your bitch. Selfish. We got the first. You know? So the, the, first, the first scene, the first. The first video we did off that thing called uh called Selfish, you feel me? But uh oh yeah, but but the album, but, but, but the project everywhere though. It's it's you know what I mean. All, whatever wherever niggas listen to their music at, that's you know what I'm saying. That's where it's at. You feel me? So Spotify and Apple and all that good shit, and you know Amazon or whatever, YouTube, SoundCloud. Yeah, that thing. Whatever that thing is on all platforms. If you want to stream it, uh, like I said, you know what I mean. It's an acronym for one of them ones. So you might not find it by typing in Udo. You just got to type in King Sido and B. Jada, one of them once. And that's the name of the whole project, the lead, the lead single, Selfish. Uh, but we got some hits on there. We co-produced every song on there. So, uh, you know what I mean? No, 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 not every song, but we, we, got, we got a majority of co-production on there. You know what I'm saying? Also, we got Boots Green on the production as well as NM and SFR. You dig what I'm saying? He went on ahead, dropped some, dropped some keys on there as well. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know what I mean? And 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 me and BJ this relationship extended to me and this brother's relationship because I met this brother through BJ. You know what I'm saying? They was doing work together already. You know what I'm saying? Because you know Jada also mixes and masters. So if y'all need a mix and master. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is a garden stick. I know this nigga before me. You know what I mean? Back in the day, back in the day, some of the solidest niggas I know. Oh, we 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 in the hood with it. You know what I mean? We in the hood with it. You know what I'm saying? Me, me, me and told me and told older brother play basketball together. So you know, it's it's all family. Man, this nigga got catalog, man. You catch up to this new shit. You still got a lot of catch up to eat. You might get some fries, pull a plate up. You know what I'm saying? And start eating up all this. Yeah, yeah nah, Jada got major catalog. You know what I'm saying? So, you feel me? Uh, yeah. Jada's been yep. solid and consistent. That's the best way I could describe this man, Jada. You feel me? Hey, side yeah. of those. No doubt the audio, the audio, the audio. I think on, on the audio on one. I think on, on yours too. Maybe kind of. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Uh, That's why I backed out. You feel me? But uh, you know, just trying to. Hey, that's part of the live experience. It's good, though. Good. I just, you know. Uh, hey, Saito, right now with everything going on in the world, fucking how do y'all, how, or you can say for everybody, though, how y'all stay motivated? It, 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 I feel like it's easy to come, get down, you know what I mean, with this shit. Motherfucker. Another strain, another strain, and, and artists, we're about coming together, you know what I mean? So this is, this, this pandemic is like, it can help us because it puts us in a place to focus, but it also puts, tries to separated so how are y'all staying together you know even if it's mentally well first of all these brothers they ain't no coughing and sneezing ass niggas you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what i mean so that's the main thing you know what i mean they ain't the type that it just sneak a cough on you or sneak a sneeze in on you just to just to neck they they real dudes they be like you know i'm a little under the weather whatever not to say that's what's uh keep us going or keep us on oh, my mama on oh, my mama to knock on wood I ain't even been sick since before the pandemic. Yeah, I never got, got COVID yet either. Hey, man, you know, I'm, I'm, I am never got. I ain't, I ain't been sick. I ain't been sick since like early 2020, know, late, guy. late 2019. Hey, you like this marijuana? <laughs> Self medication, nigga. That's how we do these times, baby. <laughs> hey, man, you know what I'm saying? You don't know these days. You don't know if it's a cold. 
You don't know it's the Ronisha. You don't know what's <laughs> going on. Yeah. But but like I said, you know what I mean. I was on a, on a, on a serious note though. Um, you know, we talking about hardworking individuals. You know what I'm saying? And and you know what I mean. They but pride yeah, themselves. Well, they, I got they pride them themselves in, their, in their work. You know what I mean? In their work ethic. So you got two hardworking people coming together for a project. It's always easier to manifest. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to tell them, hey, can you do this or hey, can you do that? You know what I mean? We pretty much kind of like have a, a, a unwritten rule type of thing that we go by to where it's easier to work with brothers like them. You know what I'm saying? So for me, so, uh, but what I'm saying is like, but what I'm saying coach, is, I got you, Coach. I got you. I understand. Yeah, like on, a, on a deeper level, like how are you staying mentally? Like why yeah. are you even doing this shit when it feels like there's no hope? You feel me? Check got this you. out. Okay. You feel me? I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. You dealing with artists? You feel me? So that's an easy take for us, right? That's good poetry. More motherfucking fuel for the fire. You feel me? Person that accepts their situation and don't try to use them with making a facade and they absorb that shit and they find a walking within that part of life and we should have been told that's what the fuck we do we do it so we, we just sponges right now. It's kind of fucked up motherfuckers that ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? Because they probably really good. So that's our job right now is to keep they mind. I'm releasing all those dope guys. Yeah, so, and it, you know what I mean? Cause on my mama. I think it's just the love. You know, I got... I love I love music. I love rap music. I love making music. I love creating. And if you really love something, you know what I'm saying? You got to do it. You feel me? And it's it's like it's it's like if you love your kids, it's it's no timeouts, it's no days off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to tend to them because that's who you love. You build the love with them. I built the love with this music where I can't go too long without it. You know what I'm saying? I can't go too long with creating something oh, yeah. new. Uh, you know what I mean? Sometimes, um, you know what I mean? Time time could be our friend or our enemy, depending on how we use it. And uh, you know what I'm saying? It's been an enemy of mine, I admit, you know what I mean? Because I take my time with a lot of stuff, which is nothing wrong with that. But you know what I mean? We don't have time. We're losing people right now. You know what I'm saying? So we got to come out and make memories with the people that's around us while they're supporting us. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm eager now to put out more music, you know what I mean? And my love for it is what keeps me in. What about you, brother, right here? Oh, man. Um, shit, man. The only thing that could really keep a nigga away from the music, dude, like the world got to end or some shit, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know pandemics, are, you know, so all, you know, uh, you know, all respect to everybody that, you know what I mean, been, you know, touched and affected, you know what I mean, S somehow. <laughs> You know what I mean? In some way, shape, form, or fashion. You know what I mean by the COVID or whatnot. But uh, you know what I'm saying? We just we 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 was raised to just keep it pushing through. You know what I mean? Niggas is dealing with you know what I mean. Niggas was dealing dealing with all type of niggas passing away and and and, and deaths and, and and you know what I mean and and uh men. So you know what I mean? Uh, you know it's not it, you know what I mean. Just like uh nigga said. Niggas love music, so you feel me? It's gonna, it's gonna take, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna take for this motherfucker to get shut down for a nigga to stop making music. You feel me? So, um, that's pretty much all it is. You know what I'm saying? And then, shit, I mean, really, you know what I mean? Shit, niggas got they, niggas got they labs at the house. So, you know what I mean? Shit, if niggas stuck in the house, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit, what else a nigga gonna do? You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm gonna turn on the Pro Tools, uh, turn on the keyboard, you know what I'm saying, to get to making some beats or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's pretty much all it is. Because you guys I don't know, but I recently got my main page uh, stolen from me, bro. And it was it wasn't a fake page; it was real light, real followers, all that. And uh, a lot of people. I seen that. Yeah, yeah man, it's, it's sad, but and a lot of people were like, "Aren't you sad? I can't believe it." But like, I'm from the '90s, homie. Like this Instagram shit ain't nothing to me. You feel me? Like to me, it's just an app. I'm gonna do photography is how I make money, and I love photography. And I would do it anyway, regardless. You know, I'm gonna do it regardless. You, you know what I mean? I'm gonna connect with people regardless. I, I, you know, there was a moment when I was right. like, should I just fucking stop 
But then I was like, no, the next day, bro. I was the same day. I lost my shit. I had an interview. I kept going. I just started on this new page. You know what I mean? And, and motherfuckers, the real. You know how I look at it, this shit is. As long as we love what we're doing, we're winning. And anybody that wants to come along for the motherfucking journey, well, come on. You know what I mean? But it's, but I'm not gonna fucking trip about every little thing. Now, homie, this pandemic made a lot of like the little shit that we worry about. You know that we used to the petty shit or at least that i used to i'm leaving that shit so i was just wondering as an artist you know because i can i can sense i know side of, uh, i can sense in y'all too that i have a tattoo that is right here in spanish it says Siempre para adelante. that means always move forward it's a mexican saying and that could be some working ass bees you feel me so i was just wanting to check in with y'all about how y'all feeling about straight up before, no matter what happened you know 2022 had lost my page but at the same time i let go of a lot of baggage that i left on that page you know i let go of a lot of whatever and now i'm starting a new it's all about perspective so i just was wondering where y'all's perspective is you know with, with all this army crime and motherfucking politicians tripping and I don't know everything you know you could get all up in it or you could just hey look i'm gonna say i'm gonna i'm gonna say my bad. I'm gonna I'm say. I'm gonna say one more thing, cause uh, you know why I said that though is because uh, you know what I'm saying. You know, nigga. You know, nigga be outside of the, the uh, you know, the rapping and shit. Nigga be having other little shit to do and shit, right? So you know what I mean. And the shit that I be doing, you know what I mean, to get bread. You feel me? Like that. That uh. That 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 line of work like picked up. You know what I'm saying during the pandemic. Yeah. You feel me? So, 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 so for me, like when it started, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't really miss a beat, you know what I'm saying? As far as like, so that's why I, I know for, for a lot of, for, for a lot of motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? They, you know what I mean? Niggas was staying in the house and, and shit like that. But, um, man, I, I, I was, I was, I was still working, you know what I'm saying? So it, it didn't, to me, it didn't really seem like a whole bunch of shit like really slowed down. You know what I mean? Except for like at the at the beginning, beginning, you know, when niggas were trying to go to the to the grocery stores and you couldn't find no you couldn't get no milk and no turkey or you know, no tissue paper and that, you know what I'm saying? But then that shit slowed down. But but yeah though, you know what I'm saying? That's but hey, I was gonna say, man, cause uh that's fucked up, you know what I mean? So when they hack your shit, it's all bad because uh, cause man, on some real shit, like the last two days, you know how with the Google shit. Everything you logged into, you you logged in. So if I'm logged into Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, I'm logged in. You, you know what I'm saying? But the last two days, you know what I'm saying? When I when I uh, turn on my laptop, I'm logged out of everything. So I'm like, oh, that means somebody might be trying to hack me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm logged out of. I'm talking like I never logged out of nothing. And I was logged out. You know what I'm saying? Right, so and we'll jump right back into the music. But I just to let you guys know, so the new scam, just so everybody knows. Cause I don't do no, I don't. I, everybody knows there's the females, there's the guys talking about NFTs, there's fucking blue check, right? There's the buy the likes or buy the followers. This was a personal homie of mine saying, uh. "Hey, what's up, my boy? Hey, let me text you my my to get my password." The text comes in, but I was in my car, and I believe I do believe that God was trying to send me a message to not look at my phone no more in the car. And this, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this uh, app from you for a little bit. You know, that's my belief, truly. And uh, and I didn't see that it wasn't right. a number. Right. It was an Instagram link. And right when I pressed that link, within five minutes, I was logged out of my own Instagram. When I went to try to recover my shit, my number and the email that is there in the little with the little holes that she, uh, was gone, and it was a new one. So you, everybody, watch out for people, your actual friend. Because I think they look through your DM and find people that you were having just having a conversation. Because there was a girl that's my home girl, and I was just talking to her about a podcast. And within the next message, she asked me, "Hey, bro, can you help me?" So we were just talking on some regular shit, y'all. So all I'm saying is this shit is new level shit, and I worked really hard for that page in the pandemic, bro. But you know, I'm still here, homie. The reason I brought that up is I was just excited and happy that y'all are like, in, right now, this is like the height of whatever, this new Omicron. And uh, it's like, 
what I love about my people is we ain't stopping for nothing. You know what I mean? We don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? They can keep deleting my shit. I'm gonna keep going no matter what. And I feel like you know why? Why y'all? You know, like why? 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 Like I know why I do it, and then you start explaining why you do it. You know, and what a blessing that we have something that we love so much that we're gonna do it regardless. Yeah, it gotta be done. Straight up, it gotta be done. If we don't do it, somebody else will. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, we gotta do it's, that always, shit. it's always a line of a line of people ready to take your spot. So as soon as you stop, that you know you're giving them the opportunity to go. And I mean, it, it's enough for everybody. You know, it's not like keep away from nobody. It's just saying that it's somebody that's working real hard to advance to your level. So you know what I'm saying? To remain on that level, you gotta maintain what got you there. You know what I'm saying? Which is hard work ethic. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, always come back stronger. Come back stronger. That's right. And, and that's right. the flow music. Thank yep. you, Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. Shout out. Hey, Ask questions. Share, share the live, people. people. Hey. hey. Share the lit live. Where are we going, where though? Are we going, From here, man. man. What's, what's, what's the movement with, with this, with this new wave? To... What's the wave? Tell, explain the wave to people about this project. The wave, uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, like I said, be sure to check out the Udo, but I'm gonna have Toe break down the uh the project that we did called Half on a Nina, which was half of nine songs. You know what I'm saying? So definitely we ain't talking about none of that other, my brother. You did. I mean, saying? it is it's all, all pure dopamine. Yeah, that pure dopamine. You feel me? That's the new classification genre of music. You feel me? I'm man, that's what the new way is. And there you have it. It's classified as pure dopamine. You feel me? So when you see all my shit, say, oh, bro, that's that new pure dopamine shit. It's like, who else is pure dopamine type of artist? And lo and behold, you got two of them right here. Yada and yada. You feel me? But anyway, we're going to get back into the details of this half of the year. I mean, I said we said half on a new all platform. Whatever the fuck. Half on the knee. I hope that you, I'm going to give title a shout out. They pay a nigga the most. If you give me a point, you slap this shit on title. <laughs> me and Sato came through Put together by my nigga A.O. Waxon. You feel me? That's who I'm going to give a shout out to. Irv got me to pay for Waxon. They like, you can see me. And put me on the Yes, sir. You came together. Well, you know, you know, have on the Nina. On the eight day, man. And, uh, I said, I don't do shit for the street. You do shit for the stadium. Just King Sido and Mac Toe. You know what I'm saying? You're talking to me. I had to sit there and yeah. yeah. explain it in with your dope. Took a while. Took a while. I still didn't get it. But then I can start recording. You can start seeing people's faces after they have a you know what I'm saying? Let this start. Another hit, nothing, man, no me. All this type of shit starts getting produced. And they're like, oh, we damn it, we go for me and get it. But now it's time for y'all to catch up. Right. So, it, you know what I'm saying? The whole thing black. Yeah, we just put that thing together, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I mean? It was going to be originally seven songs, but we stretched it to nine. You know what I'm saying? I added two beats on there. We got Prozac on the beats. We got a uh, 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 side of lean on the beats. You know what I'm saying? The Marksman. Uh, we got a uh, uh, Geese Mac on the, on the beat. You know what I'm saying? We got some, we got some heavy production. Prozac. We got, we got Prozac on the beats. Rob Lowe. Shout out to Rob Lowe. We got the mob. Represent the mob figure movement. You know what I mean? So we say, well, to get some of that sound as well. You know what I mean? So shout out to them and the whole mob figure. Hey, and and uh, how we how we how we gotta move forward right now, man? What's the move, man? If you could tell your people, like, you know what I mean? What we, what's the hustle? How we gonna how we getting the music to the people? It's all online now? Can we, can we do shows? I mean, what the fuck? I just mean on a business level. Yeah, I mean, you know I mean? We, they might have to meet us in the meta world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? They might have to meet us in the meta universe. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's, 
It's a lot of things. It's a lot of things coming in the future, NFTs and things. You know what I mean. So I'm gonna uh, definitely be releasing that information once everything is all final. You know what I'm saying. But we definitely gonna be advancing. Um, and uh, the thing is, you know, it, you know, music is needed. Music is a, a, represent oh, yeah. a representation of life. You know what I mean. And we gotta give life a soundtrack. You know what I'm saying. So. We do what we love to keep that love out there, to keep that energy out there, even in hard times, you know what I'm saying? Because music heals. Music heals the soul, you know what I mean? So we, we speak That's to the people. That's what I mean. I'm going to tell you, I need these niggas to go fund me because I'm trying to put on a tour for the West Coast. You know what I mean? Because fuck the better world. I'm with that old school shit. I'm a tour from Mexico to Oregon, nigga. You feel me? But come on and buy them albums. You feel me? I might fuck around like it up and go fund me. When I go live, this shit gets crazy. You need to get this shit back in order because motherfuckers are trapped in the house. And I told you to get you out of here. That's the future. I'm working on that shit just for all y'all. Share this shit so y'all can show everybody to know. We're getting out the fucking house. It's 2020. I'm tired of the politicians. I'm tired of all that shit. I'm tired of Motherfuckers are asking me, I'm dealing with the pandemic. You feel me? I'm dealing in the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? It's getting real out there. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Niggas is doing what they got to do. So we're going to move forward. But still, it's getting back to the idea that we can do it. We can make a little bit of 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 Music is universal. Oh, what you think, Jada? You know what I'm saying? What, what What's going to keep us going with, you know what I mean? Despite, you know what I mean? Despite the politics, you know, the politics, despite the, the, the popos, despite the, despite everything that comes against Despite ourselves, the board, even, you know what even ourselves. What's, what's you know going what I mean? to keep you thugging with the music? You know what I'm saying? Despite it all. Man, uh, <laughs> shit, man. Nigga just got to keep going, man. As long as a nigga got a... As long as a nigga got a passion for whatever he doing, you know what I mean? If it's podcasting, if it's making beats, you know what I mean? If it's rapping, if it's acting, if it's being a garbage man, if it's a doctor, a policeman, whatever the fuck it is, a lawyer, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you got a passion for it, just do it. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going to keep niggas, that's what's going to keep niggas going. You know what I'm saying? So, um... I, 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 I mean, I, I could just say it like that, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going to just keep it going. Passion for it. Y'all feel like there's, in this period, is everybody all spread out? You feel like people are fucking with each other? Are people falling into the politics? There's a lot of people are coming out of a period in Northern California where there was a lot of drama. And I know this your genre of music is not necessarily about that shit, but I'm saying just you looking at it because I know you got a strong mind. Um, like, because I, the reason I say that, bro, is that I see how you like... I appreciate people that understand all the street stuff, but also make their music that it doesn't have to be about the same old fucking thing. God damn, I've seen enough guns. I don't know how to explain it, bro. It's just, I'm getting sick of that shit. How, 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 how y'all kind of not fall into that? Because it's easy to fall into that, get a lot of views. But I feel like, you, for me... I can't, I gotta be myself, man, that, that's not me, you know, so, I was just wondering, you know, it's, it's got, I feel like y'all are men that are a little bit more, you got a little bit bigger third eye, you know, consciousness. Um, you know, I mean, in a world where everything is against us, man, you know what I'm saying, we just strive to uh, outdo, you know, any limitation that, that's ever been placed upon, you know what I mean, like, we just try to shatter that, you know, whatever they say we can't do, we do it ten times better than they said we could do it. You know what I mean? And so, just, 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 just trying to maintain and just, you know, just, just fight to just maintain and just, you know, we can't stop. stop but how do you not? Like, how do you not fall? How do you not fall into like the petty shit, like making talking shit about somebody or making like about another rapper so you can get clout or like why don't you do that? It don't, it don't really lead to nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I mean, you know, 
not to say I've never been in that situation, but you know what I'm saying? No, nobody. Served. I mean, we all fuck around a little bit. Like, I'm just saying, there's certain people that literally make their career off of shit on people. And I'm just wondering why y'all don't decide to do that. Each one, reach one. You got to teach one. Each one, reach one, teach one. I don't know how to do that. I guess niggas in the sentence of two times. from the bay. Now, all of those. Me, myself, I can't say that I am like a backpack rapper and shit. You know what I'm saying? You, die, you feel me? It's been working. It's been my like, and rock. You feel me? But I know what the fuck is going on in this world. You know And I guess a nigga always feels like he ain't better than the next one. So, so. I might not rap more like this cat. I know what they be going through. You feel me? Because some of them, they sincere about what they talking about. You feel me? It's a reflection of how society really is. Why this man might go away his whole fucking life. Not understand how another person just across from him is his opposition and his mind. That right there is a reflection. Of what they are doing to my community. So I, don't, I don't even look at them as if they can pick it into something that's already been in place. They caught in that shit. You feel me? So it's, it's up to me to come at them with a total point that they understand that I understand. The, the moment that you try to send it, it affirms that shit in their mind that they ain't got nothing to lose anyway. Right. Oh, my mom. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, it's just, you know, I'm just at a point in my life right now. I, I enjoy making music. I enjoy going to shows and not having to watch out for who I got issues with and all that. You know what I mean? I try to just get to a point where everything's cool with everybody. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, therefore I can conduct business a little smoother. Now, you know what I mean? You worry about the next man. You're speaking on the next man. And, all, all issues really get worked out within conversations, you know what I'm saying? If you really just talk to a man, you know what I mean, and face to face, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of issues that can get resolved immediately, you know what I'm saying? So we've seen what issues can escalate to, you know what I mean, before. So we try not to repeat uh, anything that we see that was detrimental to the whole uh, community of what we, you know, what we grew up on. And so we just try to, uh, Represent yeah, man, value. A, you know, good yeah, we just try to represent the balance. You know what I mean? We know that. You know. You know. We like I said, we exposed to that. We just want to show different. So that's what he talked about. So like the balance is gone. You feel me? What happened to the balance? Man, nothing just not opening books up no more. You know what I'm saying? The niggas say y'all like y'all don't even know who's not operating the weapon. He's talking about shooting people. Can't even read the sentence. Don't know that. For sure. You know, so, yeah. I had a young nigga today calling me. Let you speak hey, to me. Hey, 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 shout out to the shout out to any other shout outs about on the album. Man, shout out to everybody tuning in. Half on the Nina. One of them ones is out on iTunes right now. We all know Chase. about Chunk Daddy out of East Colorado, man. Chunk, Chunk got on that album. Jada got on the album. Chunk Dad. You know what I'm saying? Oh, East East Colorado Legend. You feel me? Toast up and take your bar with a mix in the black of my mouth. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, that's that. But that's a... We got, you feel me? We got this chunk on this shit. You know what I'm saying? What he said, we got this girl and I'm going to talk to him. Shout out to Tatiana. She can deliver some nice lyrics. You feel me? We got a nice song for the ladies. We got to figure something out. So I play nice. Don't play it for your wife. Play it for your hiney. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. On my mama. Yeah, There's a lot of different cool vibes on there. On my mama. You know, my music, but yeah. Jada, let them know something, man. Man, on everything, man. Uh, now, nah, on that last shit, it just come with um, 
it just come with it just come with you know what I mean you know a little maturity as niggas get older you know what I'm saying nigga want to just <laughs> want to just be peaceful with it you know what I mean for the most part you know the competition always gonna be there you know what I mean when it comes to you know this and that and all of the other shit to bravado but you know what I'm saying like Saito said niggas be wanting to, you know what I mean niggas be loving going to these venues not having to yeah, you know I mean, and, you know what I mean. Look, you know what I mean. See who you know, who over here, or who over there. Or, you know what I mean. So that's 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 pretty much um, that's pretty much all it is, though. You know what I'm saying. And then when you got kids too, you know what I mean. That 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 kids are kids are kids are mature. You, you know what I mean. You know what I mean with the with the hurry upness. Yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, all, all the shits is out. You know what I'm saying on all of them platforms. You feel me half on the Nina and uh one of them ones. You feel me right on uh uh uh, 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 uh Pocho, you know what I'm saying, for um for having us on this one, you know what I mean? Side deal, Mac Toe and all that. Yeah, for sure, man. I appreciate y'all fucking with me and like all these fucking crazy IG sensitivities, man. It's just crazy. Yeah, man. It goes down, man. We gotta like, we keep pushing. Like you said, man, I'm finna watch man, I'm watching out for them. I'm watching out for them scammers, hey, man. Remember, it's people like your homeboys, bro, that you're, like, you know how, like, you'll have homies and you'll have, like, 10, 15, maybe 10, 5 or 10 conversations going on over the couple of weeks between you and your friends, just different right. people. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. They slide inside of a conversation that's already happening, bro. It, it's not. It, it's not coming from okay. spam mail. It's not coming. I, from, I was in the middle of a conversation with somebody, bro, and then they then they switched the conversation. Said, "Hey, hold on, or not hold on, but hey, go do this real quick." And I was like, "Oh, okay." And I pressed After my thing, and I lost my whole shit. They changed your name on the screen. No, yeah, it's underscore. You even tagged it and they reposted it. Bro, this shit's crazy. It's underscore. Now it's. That shit it's crazy. Sight of you tagged it in one of them. Underscore. The whole new live show. Oh, uh, man. I'm telling people to report it at the same time. But the good thing is, I got to screen record a bunch of the interviews. At, like to put on YouTube, and I was already transitioning because I had a bunch of points. And uh, to be honest, bro, I'll be keeping it real right here. I had an ex wife, two relationships, I had a lot of baggage on that page, homie. So I'm like, it's good, bro. Hey. My nigga said, I'm ghost off that motherfucker anyway. The, the real will check back in. Hey, you gotta keep it 100. On anything. It's about keeping it real, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. On anything. Yeah, yeah, man. Any last shout outs, you guys let me know. Titles up to you. Man, you know what I mean? I want to shout out the whole Bay Area. You know what I mean? Uh, the whole California. You know what I mean? The whole United States. The whole world. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody tuning in. Shout out to Jada Snacks. Be Jada. Shout out to Tota Mac, a.k.a. Mac Toe. And uh, Bocho, man, I appreciate you having us tonight, man. For sure, for sure. We'll do this shit again. You know what I mean? As we grow, you know, we grow together. Shout out to everybody. You know what I mean? Let's keep it moving. Stay strong. Off top. Stay strong. Let's keep get doing it. what you love, man, because at the end of the day, that's all we got, you know, just today. Well, follow uh, One Love. Follow the Ruler Squad page. Follow Gummy Alert. You know what I mean? Follow my page, King underscore Sido, C Y D A L. You know what I mean? Jada Snacks. Give me a handle. You understand me? Yeah, yeah, I'm Jada Snacks. Yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, man, I just wanted to uh, say shout out to Eric, all y'all that's tuned in, and um, all my niggas that's right here. You know what I mean? Mac Toe, you know what I mean? Pacho, and, and Inside Deal. You know what I'm talking about? That's about it. Told him back. Man, I've been telling from a funeral the other day. I kept telling niggas what to do. I ain't doing that tonight. I'm going to say this to all that. Shout out to the culture. 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 We're going to keep it like that. Y'all know. For sure, for sure. All right, bro. Hey, well, make sure to post this because I'm going to speed record this and post it on my shit and also post it on YouTube. Let's get it, man. One love. One love. Peace to everybody, man. Much love. All right. Let's get it. One love. Yes, sir.